Hi my friends on YouTube. Uh, I'm here today because I seen a video from a friend of mine, uh, Lee Ralph. He asked us to do like a challenge uh, to show the difference between uh, uh, bushcrafting and urban survival. Because if, say, if something happens or something like that, and you're stuck either uh, heading towards the woods and you're in a city, then there would be some problems. Because, you know, everybody studies up about how to make a fire in, in the woods and stuff like that. But um, very few of us really go over what happens if you're stuck in a city and that's what uh, this uh, video is all about okay here I am uh, I'm on my porch but uh, and it's not quite a big city but uh, there is people here <laughs> and uh, I have experienced a lot of big cities uh, I think we'd stand out, like he said, like a sore thumb and with a, a backpack. This is one thing you'd have to get rid of right here. That would be gone. Then carrying uh, something about uh, this size of knife, which would be very convenient in most big cities, but in the same token, it'd be so it stand out like a sore thumb so no you'd have to get rid of that I think uh, first of all uh, for a big city maybe something like this a smaller blade knife would be uh, one of the first things um, as far as uh, procuring uh, something oh I forgot too I don't think a camo hat would really fit well or the whole camo outfit like he had on, that, that wouldn't fit at all. This you might be able to get away with. Maybe something like uh, just regular everyday clothes. But uh, I think uh, uh, first things first is uh, water procurement. I mean, you, you need water to survive. So that's a very important thing. And uh, I'd suggest in that situation, if you find yourself stuck in a big city, is see if there's a park or something like that around. Most of the times they have freshwater fountains or something like that there where you could uh, uh, procure some water. And most of the cities on the east coast here are actually uh, uh, built right on rivers. There's uh, a ton of big cities in there. There's always water around them. Um, I'd say first I'd look for parks or something like that and then secondly if I had to I'd uh, look at the river itself and um, then you'd need some purifiers because most of these rivers around here are, are pretty bad but um, I think there's uh, certain things that you really uh, need to look for he was he was suggesting he suggested a bunch of uh, topics, uh, fire procurement, how to, how to build a fire. Now all of us know how to use a, 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 a flint and steel or a ferro rod or something like that and that's fine for the, the, the woods but it's not fine for the big cities. You could use them, I mean you could get away with it but uh, I think it would just be uh, taking too long so I suggest a lighter a Bic lighter or something like that or it could be a Zippo uh, a regular lighter would be what I'd use in that case because they're small, they're compact, they're lightweight and uh, very easy to use um, let's see what else, oh shelter he mentioned uh, again there's, there's always um, down by the river you could find a little bit of uh, bushcrafting that you could do there where you could build your own shelter or uh, I hate to say it but abandoned uh, houses uh, 
uh, abandoned buildings in a lot of places might be feasible but then again there's also uh, very dangerous elements with going into those places too so that would be a decision that you'd have to make as far as uh, shelters go um, let's see yeah, shelter uh, food food is a different thing now there's um, in 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 the woods you could find uh, all kinds of food uh, like edible plants and all like that in the cities not so much so but you can find some uh, dandelions are edible uh, and as you go down the, the road a bit there's there's probably some fruit trees or something like that like when I was a kid there used to be fruit trees all over the place and we'd as kids go in and raid our neighbors apple trees and stuff like that so so that's uh, that's one option if, if that's available if not uh, yeah, food might be a little tough, but uh, in cities usually there's uh, uh, soup kitchens and stuff like that. You could always try to find and stop that. Uh, there's there's numerous amounts of places like that, but then again, then you're running into uh, the regulars of the city and they know they'll know that you're not from there and they might there might be a problem you got to be uh, strong and able enough to handle the situation when it comes to you uh, me myself I was going to make this uh, in the city but I didn't really find the opportunity to uh, to go into the city and do it and plus running around the city with a camera is not necessarily a good idea you know, you could very easily be shot, you know, especially around here. There's been massive amounts of shootings and all like that. And it's not that the gun kills, it's the person that has the gun kills. So, that's how that is. But, um, yeah, you'd, you'd have to find options. And I'm sure if you searched around hard enough and with a little bit of time, uh, little bit of experience and uh, bushcrafting does help in a way because it teaches you how to survive out in the woods it can also teach you just a little bit of survival in the city you just look at the situation that's in front of you and try to figure it out that's that's the uh, best way to do it um, all I could say is yes I think uh, myself I don't know about everybody there, but uh, I think myself would stand a better chance out in, out in the woods than they would in a city, especially a huge city. And I've been in some huge cities from uh, Baltimore, New York, uh, Philadelphia. Uh, it's, it's not a comfortable place for me, but you let me loose in the woods and I'm as comfortable as being right home. So uh, that's that's what I have to say about that. But uh, yeah, yeah. So it's a very interesting challenge. I could only suggest uh, try parks for water, and water is one of the main things. And food, there is places out there, but uh, seedy, yes. Shelter. Uh, abandoned buildings or by a river and I'd probably choose by a river before I choose abandoned buildings but um, it's a very good challenge I think other people should get in on it I mean I'd like to hear some of the points of view of some others and uh, get get more ideas and I appreciate you all watching and thank you very much and thanks again uh, Lee Ralph